Hi guys, what's up? Zax here. Today we're back for more F1 2013 scenario mode. Today we're here with another challenge, Budapest this one is, and it's called bringing the car home. And uh, so yeah, we got to, I think we've got to be our teammate after a late pit stop. So we're going to try and do that. We're going to try and get another scenario mode complete. Let me know if you are enjoying scenario mode or whether you would rather see something else because I'm always up for sort of some constructive criticism and comments about what you'd rather see on this channel because obviously at the end of the day it's you guys which are watching the videos so obviously I want to make the videos that you guys want to watch um, otherwise there's not a huge amount of point of this channel so yep scenario mode you got two top 15 finishes obviously so far we haven't exactly had the hardest of challenges but here we are in Budapest. Oh no! He'll need to pit in for repairs to stand any chance of salvaging his race. But with fresh tires, he'll at least have an advantage. So I've got to, I've got to bring it in the pits, or I'm going to get it out of the pits. I've got, I've got to bring it in the pits. Oh no! Oh, trying to get it around here. Without a front wing, it isn't too easy. Stop it into the pit lane. Then the AI, the AI control just takes over. But, um, yeah, the cage actually looks really nice, actually, going into the pit lane. But coming in here, <laughs> apparently we just did our fastest lap of the race without a front wing. That doesn't really make much sense. But here's one of these cool pit stop animations. You can see there from one of the sort of person's point of view. Really cool. And we come out the pit lane here. This will be this will be dead last as we come out of the pit tip. Yep, there we go, dead last. So we're gonna put it into the rich fuel mixture here. Oh, what, why did I put on these tires? Damn it, I, did, I should have put on some option tires. But whatever, we got these four cars to pass in three laps. Let's see if we can do it. Max Children, the first person we want to overtake in 21st position. He's the car directly in front of us, so we should. Be able to swoop past him very shortly. Obviously, I don't want to make any contact, but we've got these fresh tyres. It should be quite easy at the end of the day. Just getting the, the grunt in the cater and we'll dive down the inside here. Hitting the first and second apex is really well there. Bianchi's the next one up. Now, obviously, these are live commentator guys, so you might realise. At certain points, I might end up just not talking just for a little while, just whilst I'm concentrating in maximum concentration mode. But I don't know who this car is in between Bianchi here and my teammate up in front. I think that's a Williams. I don't know how he's doing so badly, but looks like we've got a Williams in between. I think that's Bottas. I think I just saw the finish flag. It's around the final corner. A bit of slip coming out of the rear wheels there. A bit too much power as we come over to finish that lap two laps to go lap 69 of 70 it looks like this Williams is shaping up for a move on Charles Peak obviously oh no we've got we've got we've gone in too deep expecting a bit too much out of the car there when I really should have realized this is a cage room <laughs> the cars I've driven so far obviously apart from the Marussia in scenario mode one have been pretty decent so I should expect that this cage room isn't exactly the best when it goes into sort of downforce mode but now we've got Bottas, Charles Peak to catch up to the back of don't know why Bottas is doing so well he's not, he's not doing badly but well, I guess he is doing badly considering that car but we don't know what's happened in this 70 lap race to Bottas but we've got the fresh tyres on we're going out on a charge there's Charles Peak, our teammate in front of us Oh, we've gone wide though. Oh, that, that's really ruined that. I thought it was all going smoothly, but Bottas got back through the position there. Oh, that's a bit too optimistic going in there. Wasn't really predicting that one right. Can we grab DRS here? Oh, I don't want to. You can see how Peak sort of turned out of that when he saw me diving down the inside. Intelligent AI. But Charles Peak comes back at it. The engine struggling, but we, here we get we got the DRS there as well. Bottas, will he get DRS as well? The Bottas has got the DRS. Charles, he's got Charles Peak. And I should be looking where I'm going because into turn one, that's where I messed up my braking. But oh, nearly messed it up completely again. 
Bottas pulled out a big lead. Oh, we've got a bit more DRS here. Forgot about that. I did completely forget that there's two zones. So that's that. So it's it somehow, even though it's a 70 lap race, we haven't been lapped. So yeah, that's that. But we're pulling away from Bottas. Charles Peak and Co. behind. Sebastian Vettel wins the Hungarian Grand Prix. Not like real life. He does get quite a lot of wins in this game, but then <laughs> you think about it, he does win quite a lot of races in real life. But uh, so he wins this race. It's obviously, Hamilton winning the race this year, so a lot of British fans happy about that. But looks like Van der Gaard, or also known as Alex Zafra, will bring home an 18th position finish after a late pit stop for Caterham Racing. Bottas is pushing. You can see there's some smoke being kicked up as I run on the outside there. But oh, no, I just keep missing every. I don't know, this this challenge I'm just doing really badly. But Sebastian Vettel was one. We've got two more corners to go. Now one more. This hasn't really been as safe. We've only got 400 feet to the car behind. And we go across the line with just enough fuel as well. And that's that challenge done, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. We completed that. We'll move on to another part very shortly. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. It's Blacks, and I'm out of here. Goodbye.